boy, boy. I mean, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> it's right here. Man, man, man. Okay. All right, family, come on in. Come on in. This is the first time I've been live in the middle of the day in maybe the last two years. All right? My brother Keenan Chapman is in here. That's the ultimate artist. Artist Keenan Chapman, my brother. Photographer, editor, videographer, artist extraordinaire. Peace to you, my brother. Peace, everybody. All right, now listen really quick, family. I, I had to jump in on this because I'm about to do a video on this. But I'm going to tell you straight. The, the frustration that I have right now is not for Mr. Jadena, who made this asinine, ass-backwards display of insanity. But it is his master and all of them, the artists, it is their masters who we will be calling out. Pushing this narrative, saying that, one, homosexuality existed in pre-colonial Africa. You're out of your mind. Two, homosexuality existed in Africa before European Caucasians brought anything there. We were doing this and doing that. Uh, 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 uh. I'm about to drop some heavy stuff in response to that. Three, this is all in an interview that he just did in Atlanta on Sirius XM where he was sitting down. And it made me cringe thinking about exactly what's going on and how Dr. Francis Chris Welsing talked about this. Of course, our brother Dr. Wesley Muhammad recently has been talking about this. Prior to that, you had Neely Fuller who was talking about this. And the world depopulation agenda has long been strategically putting this in place. So my book, chapter six, I heavily delve into depopulation. I heavily delve into depopulation. Now I have to make this very clear so everyone can understand. Why is Jadena all of a sudden, we talking about, okay, my live is pausing. There we go. Now, and for those of you who pop on there who are homosexual, just hush and listen for a second. You can not use the nonsense argument of, well, Reza, if you are secure within yourself, you wouldn't have a problem with homosexuality. Well, that's like me saying to you, if you are secure within yourself, you wouldn't have a problem with people smoking crack cocaine. Stop it. Knock it off. If you look at what these artists are doing, and Jadena is not the first who is pushing in, and he will not be the last. You all of a sudden have Lil Nas X come out. Then all of a sudden you have now Jadena come out and push, 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 push. Now, mind you, again, listen, listen carefully. Push this. Wait a minute. You don't have to lie. If you just want to be gay, be gay. If you want to be homosexual, be homosexual. Do your thing. That's all up to you. However, you cannot be irresponsible and misuse your platform to manipulate the minds of children and people who are listening. We cannot be irresponsible. So Jadena made a number of statements that were horrific. He said, well, hell, that's the old way of masculinity. That's the old way. Of masculinity. Again, listen carefully. The old way. What the hell is old about a man being with a woman and that is how we get children? Not one of you, us, human beings, on this planet, on this damn planet, got here without a man and a woman. See, now when you say the old way, you are parroting. This is when you know. This is when you know. And this is, I'm, I'm going to put a warning out. To all of you artists who perpetuate this nonsense, because Brother Reese is not going to sit here and tolerate this nonsense because you are sitting on your knees for your master. If you allow your slave master and, and their children to push you, to push their idea, their mentality, their agenda on our people, you will be burned and checked hard. I will not tolerate this and I'm going to tell you straight to your damn face. Any of you artists who are my friends, 
And if you disagree with me and if you step away from me, go straight to hell. I don't give a damn. Right now, we are dealing with the hearts and minds of the people. We are being murdered every day by police officers and by one another and by white supremacists and through the Food and Drug Administration and by the American Psychiatric Association and through vaccinations and through water and through the air and through all of these things. And you are telling me that we have to push to be less masculine and more feminine when every other group and nation of men are increasing in masculinity to protect themselves, to protect their women, to protect their children. And you want to convince me that it is in our best interest as a people when we are the number one targeted to become more weak and vulnerable because it's a new generation. No, nah, nigga, this is a new generation, which means we are going to be stronger than the last one. And I don't give a damn what which one of you artists and blue check mark holders kowtow and gender fleck and sell out. You will be checked. Those of us with big enough platforms, you will be checked. I'm going to make this very clear. Very clear. You will be checked. Oh, reason. Is it about him just pushing homosexuality? No, no, no. This is not about Jadena, Lil Nas X. It's not about them. It's about the fact that this government is pushing an agenda. Pushing it. And what you don't realize is the government does not like you or me. So what will the government do? Huh? Let's convince the people that homosexuality is in the best interest of all of humanity because we are pushing to remove three to four billion human beings on this planet so how can we do such a thing get them to embrace the idea of depopulation by the murder of one another through the less perpetuation or through no procreation of themselves you are not understanding this and any one of you artists who open your damn mouth you are speaking from your vast pregnant well of ignorance don't open your mouth on topics that you do not know about i said this to lebron james i've said this to a number of artists don't open your mouth because you don't know this enemy you don't know this enemy you don't know what you don't know you know music you know basketball and football and i'm not knocking you love my brothers love my sisters and if you're gay if you're homosexual if you're lesbian do you? I do not, nor will I ever agree with the lifestyle. God don't agree with it. Nature don't agree with it. Science don't agree with it. Hell, your own DNA doesn't agree with it because you wouldn't exist if your parents were gay and lesbian and homosexual. Just to make it very clear. But I don't hate you. I have family who is gay and homosexual. I don't hate not one of my family members who are gay or homosexual. I love them, period. However, the behavior is what will guarantee that we do not exist anymore so you have to get that through your head what is the intention the intention is what you must understand please explain to me why the government is so behind black people being homosexual please explain to me why they are pushing so hard in music why they are pushing it so hard in movies so hard in television so hard in cartoons so hard in schools why are kindergartners being taught to put on condoms? Why are kindergartners being taught about oral sex and how to do it? Why are they teaching what's called gender fluidity in schools all across this country saying that you are not the gender you were born as, you are the gender of what you feel like and that there are over 70, 70 genders now. You, do you really understand where the hell this is going? Do you understand? Next, it will be pedophilia. Right now, trans men, trans women, meaning men, they are now pushing to make it legal so that these men can get artificial wombs, wombs, so that they can have babies. Wait a minute. You encourage women to get abortions. You sterilize the women anyway with different chemicals. You encourage them to get abortions, and then you say, but we're going to take the hysterectomy wombs that we snatched from the real women to put them in 
fake women, which happen to be men, so that the men can have children artificially the way the natural woman would. Do you know where this is going? What part of this is logical? What part of this is natural? And please explain to me what part of this is in good sense, in good taste. Where the hell do you think this is going? Women need to be against this. Men need to be against this. And guess what? With Mr. Jadena, and hold on because I know Instagram is going to try to kick me out. So let me end this and save it real quick. One second. Ha. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah. Ha ha. Ah ha ha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Ha. <laughs> ah. Boy, I was waiting. I was waiting. I'm surprised Instagram allowed me to go that long. Believe it or not. I am so surprised they allowed me to go on that long. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Kind of got turned up there. The heat got turned all the way up in Instagram allowed your brother to keep going but it's interesting so now back to it hopefully you recorded the last one because it is now deleted instagram just deleted that whole last video that i just did they deleted the whole thing all right so instagram i get it you mad because yes because you're a part of the agenda and that's why this is going the way it's going because you're perpetuating the same goddamn thing too so yeah gloves are off if you're gay if you're homosexual listen carefully if you're an artist listen carefully because a lot of you artists Listen to your brother. You follow your brother, and I and I appreciate that. I definitely do. I appreciate that. You primarily follow me because it is the truth that you hear, and yes, because I am a follower of Minister Farrakhan. And you thought this generation would be weaker than his. Sorry, it ain't happening like that. For those of you who think that it is an old-fashioned way of thinking for a man to be with a man, or pardon me, a man to be with a woman, or a woman to be with a man, because now today being a man with a man is the best thing to do according to this government, but you're perpetuating this government's mentality. But if you think it's old fashioned, okay, then you should try to be with a man and have a baby, be with a woman, have a baby. Don't go get that artificial crap. No, just try it by nature. Just try it by nature. My only point is stop pushing the government's agenda onto the people. We are dying every day. Black women are in need of men, real men. You can't tell these women out here, well, hey, you don't need a man, even though you're being abused, even though it's hard for you to go to work, even though it's hard for you. I mean, every day I'm saying go to work without being harassed, without being, you know, uh, really harassed and messed around with by dudes and crazy people. Not You don't need no man to be there for you. You don't need no protection. You don't need a, these children don't need role models. These children don't need anyone to look up to. All they need to do is to turn on one another and. Boys, it's okay to be with each other. Girls, it's okay to be with that. Depopulation, okay? That's the point. Depopulation is the agenda. 100% the agenda. If you have not looked at it, look at it with the food. Look at it with the water. Look at it with the air. Look at it in law. Look at it in education. Look at it in history. Look at it in every single facet of life and understand why it is being pushed. It's different if you just want to be gay and that's it. Individuals coming out saying this. But when the artists are pushing it, when the government is legalizing it, when movies are promoting it, when cartoons are promoting it, when schools are making it mandatory in curriculums, but they don't make it mandatory to learn about what happened to black people during slavery, but they do make it mandatory for Jewish history to be taught they now make it mandatory in certain schools for lgbt lessons and gender fluidity and all these things to be taught you're not looking at it from a logical perspective many of us are stuck in the emotionalism and that's how they get you you ever notice how when a person argues with you you know when they argue with you and you start to get irritated they make it seem as though, oh, see, look, she irritated, which means what I'm saying is true. Because you're getting mad, that means what I'm saying is true. No. Because a person gets mad in an argument doesn't mean that what you're saying is true about them. Not all the time. Many times a person can get irritated because what they're saying is actually true and what you're saying is a lie and people are believing the crap coming out of your mouth. The same thing with this situation right here. My frustration has nothing to do with with artists or even our people being gay per se 
my frustration has to do with this government's agenda being pushed and perpetuated and parroted. I cannot stand when people call me in the middle of this thing. My frustration comes from the artists, the actors, those who have influence, those who have large platforms, money, all of these things, from them parroting, parroting this agenda coming from this government, which the overall purpose is to depopulate three to four billion people on the planet. That's my frustration. If you as an individual want to do that, that is your choice. But the moment you push it into a generalized agenda, a generalized promo, then what you're doing is you are spreading your undisciplined, irresponsible mentality that is being manipulated by this government on to the people. Children are impressionable. Even our generation nowadays, impressionable. If you got enough money or a large enough platform, you got 20 year olds who will just listen to you and follow what you do just because they look up to you. You gotta understand this. You artists have to take responsibility. You cannot go off at the mouth and just push this stuff. You have to study, you have to research. When you're on tour, when you're doing your music, when you're doing your artistry, when you're recording for your acting roles, you must study. Learn about the world around you. It is not all fairy tales and glitter and everything is cool like it used to be. Matter of fact, it never was like that for black folks. But your ignorance will become the destruction of a large group of people. And this is not something you can get away with. You can't walk around and just seem like, oh, everything is cool. You can't. I don't care how much money you got. I don't give a damn about not one of you millionaires or billionaires if you perpetuate the destruction of our people. Your money means not a damn thing. Some of us are not prostitutes for money, sorry. Some of us are not. You ain't gonna prostitute me for money. Not one of y'all could pay. If you offer me 500 grand right now to agree with homosexuality, sorry. You take that money back to the damn slave master who gave it to you along with the slave master's face that's on it. Take it back. Sorry. I'm good. If you try to get me on your show and if you try to pin me into a corner like they did on TMZ, which is why the interview from TMZ that I did was not dropped because they were trying to get me to agree with the idea of homosexuality coming out of Africa and the facts prove otherwise. And I stood on the truth, which is no, it does not. It came from Greco-Roman culture and Caucasian cave dwelling behavior. Why don't you like the truth? Why? Because even those at TMZ and those who are at these different networks, you don't have the major control. It is the master above all of you who is pushing this. And I know that. We know that. The minister, Minister Farrakhan, taught us very well about this enemy. Y'all are small time. Everything from the shade room to baller alerts, all you networks. You are nothing in comparison to the international bankers who run this whole thing. And it is they who are pushing this. And it comes down through you. So when I was interviewed on TMZ, just like I was interviewed on many other shows, when they kept pushing the homosexual thing and saying, well, Reza, don't you understand? They even tried to question me and they said, well, Reza, can't you understand uh, a person who is gay or homosexual? Can't you see how they feel being oppressed, being discriminated against? Can't you, being a black man in America, understand how that feels? You see how they try to manipulate and skew for me to just say, yeah, I understand. No, 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 no. Uh, number one. Go straight to hell if you ever try to compare the horror of what we as black people have gone through to being discriminated against because you are gay. Don't you ever trivialize the horror that my people have gone through ever in your damn life. No Jewish person would allow you to do that to them. None. 
They will never allow you to equate their plight. When they what? You better stop that and stop. Acknowledge what the hell has happened to black folks and stop comparing homosexuality to being black. Jadena, Lil Nas X, every single artist who opens their mouth, you will be checked. And your master is who will be called out. Because it's not you. You're not the one coming with all these ideas. It's not you. It's not you. That's how I know. That's how you know. There's no, no anger from Brother Reza, Islam for Jadena or Lil Nas X or even Janelle Monet. Love our sister, but somebody got in her head. Elegant and all, then all of a sudden she twerking. How? How? See, we lose this. Don't let money pimp you. Some of you damn artists get up there and you become a whore. You become a straight prostitute for money. And you say whatever the hell they want you to say. And you don't realize that people are watching you. You got to pay a price for every damn thing that you say. You cannot be out here just saying this and doing these things and expect children not to reflect it. And expect our generation of people not to reflect it. And expect our people in the communities not to reflect it. They look up to you. You don't understand that? The crazy thing is, however, those of us who actually speak the truth, now they're starting to look up to us, which is good. It's better. Because this world has made prostitutes out of so many of our talented people. Some of our most talented have become some of the biggest prostitutes for money. And that's why I'm telling y'all straight up, this situation with Jadena saying Africa had homosexuality before the European came in, and that being masculine is old fashioned, and that it's patriarchy and all, dude, you sound like a Caucasian woman, to be very specific. And there are Caucasian women who follow Brother Reza Islam's page. There is no hatred here. This is only truth. And if you get too emotional and if you cannot hate, if you can't take what I'm saying, if you can't even listen to it, then that is okay. It just means truth is not in you and that you like lies. So what I'd rather you do is go to a page where you get lied to. Go to a page where your lies are accepted and where you are able to exchange and go back and forth with lies. Go to a page where they don't give a damn about you. Go to a page where they don't give a damn about your people, about your culture, about the human family whatsoever. Go there. Because here, you have to be told the truth. We are dying every day. The world is going through hell all over the place. And because of that, it means mentally, I would think, we should actually get up and do something. So right now, I'm just telling y'all, man, this right here is something that it, it's not going to become, it's not going to get easy. It's going to become a little more difficult. Because those of the artists, again, and y'all need to make sure, make sure when you're listening to them, it's okay to check them. I have met some of the biggest celebrities. Many of them I haven't even told y'all about that I met. And the one thing they tell me, believe it or not, one, they say they respect Minister Farrakhan. Two, they say, man, Brother Reza, you remind us a lot of young Malcolm X, Minister Farrakhan. You remind us of them, man, because you still standing on, our, on that truth in this, in this time because it's not popular and you, you're not bending. They told me that. Some of these artists, they told me that in private. Some of them are the same ones who in public will say things that go against the things that I have said. They'll endorse homosexuality. They'll endorse things like this. But in private, they have told me that they don't agree with it. I want you to understand. I'm not going to drop any of their names, but I want you to understand how much of a damn circus it is. How much of it is being played? How much of it is a game to this enemy? How much of it is a damn show? You must understand this. Many of them are saying things that they don't even agree with. Many of them are hypocrites. And again, if I lose any one of you so-called artists, celebrities, blue check mark holders, after this conversation I'm having right now, then I don't give a damn because I know who God is and that is who I follow. God is the celebrity and those of us who work on behalf of him doing this work in the street are the celebrities. I will never agree 
with one of you because you have money. Farrakhan didn't make me like that. And I thank Allah for him and his example. Because this here, I'm seeing every damn thing and it's blowing my mind. It blows my mind. Y'all don't even realize a lot of the celebrities you like and you look up to don't believe half the stuff they be saying sometimes. They say things completely different behind closed doors. It will shock the hell out of you. No, I'm not going to say any names right now, but I guarantee you this. If any one of them are watching right now, if any one of them get this video, and I hope somebody's recording it. If anybody, if any one of them see it, I guarantee you they're going to change up. Because they know the people are coming after them. And again, let's make this very clear. The people control what the artists will do, will do, will do if the people rise up. Or should I say when the people rise up and stop endorsing the crap. The moment these artists get checked for doing stuff like calling our women's bitches all the time. The moment they lose record sales. The moment videos start going viral of people checking them saying, hey, man, yo, it's about to be 2020, bro. Why are you still calling our black women bitches up here? Like, what's what, what's the deal? What's the deal? The moment the people start to put pressure on them, the moment they start getting booed off stage because you keep calling our women bitches and hoes and you keep promoting homosexuality and oh yeah i do this for the i do this for the d i do this for the, hey yo man hey 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 look look bro look man we got a bunch of goddamn single mothers because of the nonsense y'all was promoting we got a bunch of single fathers or not single well yeah we got a bunch of fathers with, with children because of the nonsense y'all promoting that did damage the minds of this generation and the one before that we got a bunch of crack babies we got a bunch of damn broken families broken homes because of the bull crap you've been perpetuating for the last 20, 30 years. Everybody got to take responsibility for it. Stop perpetuating it. It starts with y'all. You up here opening your damn mouth, pushing this stuff, being gay, smoking and drinking all the damn time, doing drugs, all this stuff. And guess what? It starts with you. It ends with us down on the ground with the people. So once it hits the people, who's cleaning it up? Who's cleaning this up? You ain't doing it. It's not you. It's us. And then you want to come at us and say we too serious. No, nigga, you are too goddamn foolish and reckless with your influence. You don't take responsibility for what you do. You follow what your slave master tells you to do. And you do whatever they tell you to do for some goddamn money. You will never gain my respect. You will never gain the respect of no real men, real women, real soldiers. You ain't getting no damn respect from us. As long as you perpetuate things that destroy the people. Never. Jewish people don't allow their people to misrepresent them. Chinese people don't allow their people to misrepresent them. And while I'm saying all of this, some of you are in your mind thinking, man, Reza are too serious. Yo, Reza are too... Point exactly. Point exactly. It's just that some of y'all are nervous just listening to me say it right now. Some of y'all. Some of you become so damn nervous. You're soft. How the hell can we win a war if a man is trying to have sex with the enemy who he's supposed to be protecting his woman against? How? How? If you are coming to kill me and my family... How can I protect them if I am trying to have sex with you? You're not getting that? You're not understanding? I, I just want to know. I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure it out. How? No other group of people does this except for us. No other group of people perpetuates this except for us. Again, if you are lesbian, homosexual... I don't hate you. I have family. I have some cousins who are lesbian. I got some family who are gay. They love me. I love them. They know the behavior I don't agree with. Nature doesn't agree with. They know that. They know that. But they damn sure don't perpetuate it and they don't push it. They operate the way people used to operate in the 80s and 90s. Where I don't know who you had sex with wasn't really promoted. 
it was actually behind closed doors where it belonged and so they didn't push that they kept it private you know when we had decency before we became more like white folks where we want to put it all out there why are you hiding it you're not supposed to be proud of going around doing stuff like that you're not supposed to be proud of going around doing all this nonsense this is grown folk business this is how we operate man I had cousins who were gay in the 90s. I don't even know they were gay because they never put that stuff around us. Because they let children be children. They had respect for life of children. They would never do that. Ever. Nowadays, we promote who we have sex with. You out of your goddamn mind. And I'm saying this mainly to the brothers. If you gay and you a man, all right. All that flamboyant crap, I don't give a damn what white people agree with. I don't care. Remember, the same white people who are agreeing with you coming out being homosexual and being flamboyant and promoting it are the same white people who are hanging your ancestors and promoting it. Make that clear. So being them and them approving of something that I do does not make me happy. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't care. Every black person who is perpetuating and who is pushing, who is pushing this government's agenda of depopulation, who is pushing this government's agenda of depopulation, who is pushing this government's agenda of depopulation, I have to say it that way so they can get it, are a part of the system of white supremacy. You are a part of it. Whether if you think you are or not, you are a part of it. This is why I had to write a book, and this is why the biggest chapter, I believe, is chapter six. Chapter six in my book is depopulation. And I go through it in every way you can think of from food to water to homosexuality to vaccinations. It's in there. It's in there. When, when we get off this video, I need everyone, if you have not already, go to the link in my bio, order my first book called Message to the Millennials. You get what I'm saying? Very clear. So understand that this is not the first artist who came out with this nonsense. It's not the last artist who came out with this nonsense. And the last fact I'm gonna give you, last fact I'm gonna give you on this, is number one, whenever you hear the term toxic masculinity, whenever you hear this term, and take this and spread it, Everybody put it in your IG story, this specific thing that I'm going to say right now after you go to the link in my bio to order my book. Put this in your IG story. Toxic masculinity is a term created by two white men. One of them happens to be a homosexual. Shepherd Bliss and Robert J. Stoller. So every person who is talking about toxic masculinity is still sitting down on your knees following the white man. Pow. Learn of what it is that you speak of before you open your mouth and speak it. Because y'all are still perpetuating white supremacy when you talk about toxic masculinity. See, you just, 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 you just, you just talk. Toxic masculinity, again, is a term created by two white men. Two white men. Shepherd Bliss and Robert J. Stoller. Shepherd Bliss. Robert J. Stoller. One of them was a homosexual. That is who created this toxic masculinity term. And now you got black folks saying it, you got white folks saying it, you got all kinds of people saying it. Which means you're still following the white man. You're still following him. Really? Knock it off, man. ReasonIslam.com. Go there, get my book ASAP. Go there, get my book ASAP. Also put into your IG story, go to your IG story and put in there that toxic masculinity is a term created by two white men, 
Shepard Bliss and Robert J. Stoller. Shepard Bliss, Robert J. Stoller. Oh, Instagram messing with the video, huh? All right. Yeah, Instagram is messing with the video big time. Oh, oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. Instagram was messing it up, messing it up, messing it up. Messing it up, messing it up. Okay, we should be good now, really quick. The last thing I was saying, family, just the last thing I was saying, go to RezaIslam.com to get my book ASAP. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. Secondly, put in your IG story, and I'm telling you, everybody, put this in your IG story, that toxic masculinity Toxic masculinity is a term created by two Caucasian white men, Shepard Bliss and Robert J. Stoller. Shepard Bliss and Robert J. Stoller. So even when you are pushing this toxic masculinity, farce, fakeade, lie, Farago, it is white supremacy that you are following because it came from two white men one of them who happened to be a homosexual to perpetuate not only homosexuality but to overall perpetuate depopulation alright again last thing right after we get off of here RezaIslam.com order your book chapter 6 I cover depopulation Order your book right after you get off of here. Order your book right after you get off of here. Number two, put in your IG story, Shepard Bliss and Robert J. Stoller are the two white men who originated the term toxic masculinity. One of them was homosexual, and the term itself was pushed to help with the depopulation agenda of the people. Understand? understand understand i just want to make sure we get that because ig was trying to cut your brother out but yeah family i'm definitely gonna to have to drop this i'm gonna to have to drop this because i see what they're doing and, and it's like you know what man I, I just feel bad i feel real bad at times because most of us could not survive what our ancestors went through i can just tell you that right now most of us don't really know what our ancestors went through. We heard some stuff. We read a little bit. We saw, you know, a documentary or two. But we, we really don't know. We don't know, like really know, the way the Jewish people do, the way they teach their children from birth. They teach them their history from birth, and they don't water it down. They don't try to mix it up. No, 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 no. They tell them from birth. Everything that they went through so that they never go through it again. That is why the famous saying in the Jewish community is never again. Never again. Which they're basically saying that the Holocaust will never happen again while we are still going through a Holocaust right now. You, you get what I'm saying? We're still going through it. Our ancestors were brought in chains. They were hung with lynching ropes and now we're being lynched with bullets. It, it just... It keeps happening, keeps happening, keeps happening. And we, what, what, what the hell? What is the solution that you're giving? What is the solution that you're giving? I'm just saying here. So any artists, any celebrities who are speaking, if you're not speaking about things that help the people, my advice, stop. Stop doing art. Stop doing music. Stop doing anything. If you, if you're, if you in no way are helping our people. You're really insulting us. You're insulting us. It's really disrespect of us. It just really is. Everybody else is pushing to succeed and even many of us as a people, many of our black people are pushing to succeed and we are doing better in certain instances. However, if the artists do not get on board with pushing things that help us as a people. I don't give a damn about your music. I don't care about what movies you in. I don't care. 
Just because you black does not mean I'm going to rock with you. Sorry, not sorry. That includes some of my friends, so-called friends who are millionaires and celebrities. If you are not doing things to help black people, I, I... We have to increase our love for our people. We have to increase our pride in who we are. We have to increase this. It, 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 I'm telling you, man. We look like some damn fools. We look like jokes to people in other countries all across this planet. They're looking at us like, why are y'all niggas twerking still? Damn. Why are y'all like, okay. Yeah, okay, if you want to drink, do, do you drinking every now and then, do, do you. But why are you popping bottles, drugs, drinking? I don't. You guys are acting as if racism is over. You're acting as if white supremacy doesn't exist. You're acting as if everything is cool now. So, hey, let's all just be gay. And let's all just be lesbian. Why? Because we have passed slavery. We are post-racial. We have reached equality and freedom and justice and equity. We have reached it. We are now free and our ancestors can smile because we have reached heaven at last. We have reached the place where our people can be successful and proud and happy and thankful. We're not being murdered by one another. There are no drugs and there's no disease and famine. There is nothing negative happening to us at all. We can enjoy life and just be completely, totally carefree and just do whatever the hell we want because we have made it. That's how some of y'all niggas sound. That's how stupid we sound. That's how dumb we look. Damn. And then this generation will follow some of that nonsense, man. And then those of us in the street who are pushing to help our people, it will be difficult for us. We're still going to reach them now. We're still going to reach them. Because a real spirit can feel a real spirit. So don't get it twisted. It don't matter if you got money. <laughs> Trust me. It don't matter if you got money. A real spirit can feel it. God can feel a God. Boom. Right there. But stop acting like we have made it. Please. Just stop. Stop. Everybody else is on high alert for theirs and they working, they grinding hard as hell. We are just now grinding a little bit here. But stop, stop. I'm saying this. Everybody, please just stop acting as if we have made it. We haven't. We're doing better, but we are not done. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Again. Lastly, again, <laughs> and I know I said this before, but again, whatever you choose to do in your life as an individual or as a couple or whoever, that is you. You have the right to choose to do whatever you choose to do. However, there are people watching. There are people looking. There are people who need answers. There are men who need answers, women who need answers, children who need fathers, children who need mothers in their lives. They need to know where to go, what to do. They're, they're looking, they're searching. They want to know, what do I do? Where do I go? Who am I? But they need to know. And if you do not take responsibility, I see it's pausing. Yeah, Instagram is an a-hole. That's another thing. All of these damn social media networks, you a-holes of networks, you evil, wicked bastards. <laughs> Everybody's going to receive what they give. Karma is going to hit everybody. It's going to hit everybody. That's that's something that we all need to get. Karma's going to hit everybody. So, yeah, Instagram is terrible. They're pausing, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so just just keep moving, family. That's all. Keep moving, man. Don't become so weak. Don't become so careless. Don't get loose right now. Like, oh, everything is just cool. Everything is just cool. This is why I'm coming out with an app because this social media crap is, is not going to do it because those of us who speak the real truth and actually are involved in doing things in the community, changing the conditions, they don't like us. Good. Don't like us because we will burn you wherever the hell you step. Everywhere you go, you will be burned by truth. Everywhere. So now, nah, Brother Reese ain't going to water it down. 
Farrakhan didn't train us that way. We are not trained that way. Real women love a real man. Real women don't want no soft as hell man. They don't mind a man being, you know, soft when, when we need to be and, you know, break down and just need some love and comfort. But real women can't stand no soft as hell man because why? You become her child. Real men don't really like no heavy masculine woman. I'm going to just tell you, we, we, it's kind of, we can't really deal with that. We're not trying to date the homie. We're not trying to date the homie. We love when a woman is a woman. And women love when a man is a man. We, we love natural men, love natural women. Natural women love natural men. But all this stuff that you think is cool with trans women getting implants now with wounds and injections here and pills here. That's all. Everything just mixed up. This government is pushing all of it. Just make it very clear. The government is who I'm talking about. If you're homosexual or gay, it's not you I'm talking about. It's a behavior that's allowed to be pushed that I'm talking about. And that is the target. If you're gay or homosexual, always understand this. Always understand this. The government hates you too. <laughs> and they like you at the same time because you're doing what they want you to do, which is perpetuate depopulation. They like that. They hate you, which is why they love you for stopping you from perpetuating you. Let me say that again. They like that you are perpetuating depopulation because they hate you, so they love you for stopping the perpetuation of you. That's where it goes. So, all right, family, I'm going to get off of this, man. I'm going to get off of this real quick because it just it made me think of so much of what this government is doing. And, and, and I haven't even scratched the surface, but just trust me when I say this, that is what that whole thing that Jadena, with that interview that Jadena just had, that's what sparked this, man, because I'm like, all right, I see where they're going with it. Lil Nas X, Jadena, they're grabbing those who are hot, you know, right now in, in the charts. And they're going to move up higher. And they're going to grab them and they're going to keep pushing the set. And it's going to get younger and younger. More artists are going to be saying these things. They're going to grab those in the sports to say some things. Some more actors to say some things. Watch. Watch. You're going to get it. You're going to be like, okay, hold on. Y'all like, okay, now it's weird. Now it's just weird. Like, what, what, what the hell? So don't trip, man. I'm going to do a video on this. I'm going to do a video on this. Okay, I have to. But make sure you get the book, family. Go to RezaIslam.com right now or click the link in my bio right now. Get your book. I cover this in chapter six and I cover a lot of other things, including social media, which is another one of the biggest chapters. I believe that's chapter two. And just get ready, man, because this, this, this stuff is about to. Uh, it's about to get ridiculous. All right. So I appreciate y'all. Definitely appreciate y'all. Let's continue to just be real people. Speak the truth. Do us right. Let's not even... Let's not even worry about the nonsense. Let's perpetuate the good and blast and call out the nonsense when it's being perpetuated by influential people. Everybody has to take responsibility. Money does not make you bigger than your people. Money does not make you bigger than your people. Money does not make you bigger than your people. All right. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Brother Reza Islam. Click the link in my bio to get the book or go to Reza Islam to get the book. Much love. Peace. Assalamu alaikum.